Welcome back. Today let's talk about a common medication that many patients take for various autoimmune conditions called Plaquenil. And let's find out how Plaquenil can affect your eyes. Let's jump in. So what is Plaquenil? Plaquenil is hydroxychloroquine. It's a common medication used for various rheumatoid conditions, including lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and also Sjogren's syndrome. It's a very effective medication, and it's very popular, but it can have profound eye side effects. Specifically, Plaquenil can cause what's called bullseye retinopathy. Take a look at this photograph of a patient with bullseye retinopathy. Notice how there's a bullseye pattern. Specifically in this area right here, there's actually retinal atrophy, meaning loss of retinal tissue. That means this retina no longer sees light and you have a blind spot right in the middle of your vision. It's kind of the same impact as macular degeneration. And just like macular degeneration, this central vision loss is permanent, so that's why it's so critical to catch plaquenil damage with screening. So who's at greater risk of plaquenil retina damage? Well, there's a couple of risk factors. If you've been taking the most common dosage, which is about 200 milligrams twice a day, on average at about years five to year seven, you can typically get some damage. Also, if you're overweight, a little older, or if you take a medication called tamoxifen, you're at increased risk of damage from Plaquenil. Also, since the medication is cleared through your body, if you have any liver or kidney issues, that can increase your risk as well. So what do we do as an eye doctor? Remember, there is no treatment for Plaquenil damage, so it's all about prevention. So for that reason, the American Academy of Ophthalmology has pretty strict guidelines for screening. For my patients, I typically see them when they start taking the medication. And then I see them around year five. Typically after year five, I see them every six to 12 months to monitor. And what do we do at these visits? With all the visits, I always check vision. I also do a dilated eye exam to look at the macula. I also take photographs of the macula called an OCT to look at the layers of the retina. And I also do what's called a visual field. The visual field test detects if there are any blind spots. And remember, since Plaquenil causes damage to the central vision, we're looking for blind spots in the middle of your visual field. Let's go over a case example of someone with Plaquenil damage. This is what the retina would look like. Notice that bullseye pattern that we've been talking about. The visual field also shows a central visual field defect, which is expected. And lastly, take a look at the scan of the OCT retina. The OCT retina shows that there's some retinal damage, specifically in a bullseye pattern as well. So what do we do for this patient? Well, unfortunately, remember, there's no treatment, so all we would do now is to make sure the patient stops taking Plaquenil. This damage is permanent, so that's why it's important to follow your screening guidelines carefully. If we catch the damage early and stop it, we can really save your vision. I hope you found the information about Plaquenil screening very helpful. Don't forget, as always, your eyes tell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.